Thanks. Is that my coffee? I'm going to give you some coffee. Now, how much? How much? How many handfuls of coffee did you put in that? Four, I think. Four. And then, okay, you bring your water to a boil, and then you just put it in there, yep. and then you put some cold water in on top let, of it. Let it boil just for a second longer. Yeah. And then take it off for about a cup of cold water over it. That pushes the grounds to the bottom. Good deal. I don't want to take a chance. I just, just barely sitting on this. And, and this is the uh, the bread. This is the sourdough, and it has to be warm to make the yeast work. Very, very, very undependable as far as when it acts and how it acts and when it rises. It's a little bit cool this morning. So, you, they're fixing the peaches. For, uh, for the cobbler, <clears throat> and we have the cobbler crust over here, the bottom crust, and then we'll cook the filling. Uh, uh, we got a recipe on this. Okay, there are the peaches. Here, let me take. Red. That's peaches. Peaches and butter. Don't taste it. You try. Mm, I'll wait till it's done. I want to burn my lip. I was going to pour it in the hand like I did. I I always have to taste it and see if it needs more sugar or... I believe it's close to having enough sugar. Mm. 
Not bad. I like it. <laughs> Let's eat it now. Put it in the bowl. There we go. And that one's ready to go, my dear. Okay. Hey, uh, Mike? Thank you. Mike, Mike, set one of those 14s up on that table. You got it? Got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's always the scary part. <laughs> Now this is a Dutch oven, and you're cooking the peach cobbler off in the Dutch oven. Okay, now they've those are both filled with cobbler. They're Dutch ovens, and they're putting the coals on top. Got a tenderizer somewhere. Oh, do you want to see that? <laughs> Just oh. Oh. 